Okay, so let's start recording while we wait for the others. How are you? I'm uh, uh, Mr. Orvin, your advanced Excel lecturer. Uh, welcome to our live session. Um, April 13 started four o'clock. So we're recording it now. Uh, I'm going to share to you the email that I sent you last time. What was that? What was that? Hmm. What is it? Okay, it's fine. Okay, first agenda for this live session is our exercise three, which is going to be submitted. Okay, uh, the deadline will be tomorrow and I need you to uh, see if you still have a question, you have a request on uh, you submitted, you want to change, and so on and so forth. So some of the students do this. Any question? Answer now. I need a reply from everybody. Question or not? Please reply through our chat. If you want, I don't want, I will call you. Where is it? Nada and Momin said no, no. Amna said no. Who else? Please, I need reply from all of you so that I'll know who is uh, still here. Somebody just join. Who is that? First name Tahani. Ah, that's me. Okay. I have 13 students right now. Let's see. Amar Al Nubi, yes, do you have a question? Tell me. Do you want to uh, open the mic? Hello, Mr. Hi, hi. Yes, tell me. I have a question about uh, exercise three. The yes, bonus tell me. Exercise. Tell me. Um, about, <clears throat> about the columns that we have, the ones there were columns in blue, I guess, in green and red. And then the result. Just give me a minute. I'm going to open to you for you. Okay, again, question, Amar. Um, it's not this one, the uh, one, uh, the exercise for the bonus, the graph thing. The uh, we're done about that. We don't, I don't accept it anymore. No, I, ju I finished it, but I have a question about something else in that exercise mm, okay but because it's a step by step so do you want me to do it again no the last step i just want to ask about the last step okay tell me the coloring for the columns okay there are columns that are in, in I, if blue I'm and in green and red yeah can we make the colors of the columns adjust by themselves by doing a specific function? No. Or we just uh, have to do it manually? Yes, yes, manually. Ah, okay, okay, that's it. 
That's one okay. of the questions. Because the chart is just a graph where you manipulate shapes and so on. So unlike, I think you are referring, for example, if you're using AutoCAD or if you're using, yeah, AutoCAD has a programming something, but there is some macro, which I'm not sure if we're going to reach that topic, but macro embed, embedding of uh, programming, I think can do that, that they can, mm -hmm. we can. Set but up in a Excel, shape. it can't be done. Sorry? In Excel, we can't do it in Excel. Uh, as I said, if you, if we, we, we can reach that part of the macro, macro programming in Excel, then we can, we can do that uh, uh, setting up of shapes and so on. But uh, for this exercise, you just need to do it manually. Okay, thank you, Mr. Okay, thank you very much. Any more question, ladies and gentlemen? You can mute now your your microphone, Ama. Are you still there? Ah, it's muted. Okay. Very good. If you want to talk, actually, do you know that you just... Uh, I don't know if this is working. If you can uh, press space bar temporarily, like... Uh, you press space bar, hold that space bar, and then uh, say anything. Is it working? I can hear somebody. <laughs> Somebody's trying. Space bar. So, for example, I'm going to mute my. Can you hear me now? Okay, so it's not holding. It's just one press and then it will be unmute. If you press it again, it will be uh, muted. Okay, if you press once, remove uh, a release, it will be unmuted. And then if you press again, it will be muted again. Okay, so that's how it goes here. Because I was using uh, Zoom, Zoom application uh, for my other meetings, personal meetings, and we hold on the space bar. We talk. Remove the space bar. Then you are, you will be unmuted. Ah, uh, muted. Okay. So uh, any more question regarding exercise three? Okay. Let's go back to. The email I sent you. Okay, discussion of Geotech online classes guidelines. So did you receive emails? I'm going to show this to you. Uh, there is an email sent by Dr. Armin to all students regarding the guidelines of um, uh, online cl classes. So let me share again. Okay, I'm, uh, so, uh, I, I'm assuming you can see now this um, PDF file. Okay. So number one, I'm just going to go through some of the important details here. Number one, Geotech uses asynchronous online teaching for classes during spring semester 2020 until further notice. The first st statement says already, until further notice. We don't know exactly if this will continue all throughout or so. So please, every time, just check your emails and for sure you will get some answers. Uh, asynchronous online teaching means we don't have to be uh, on live sessions all the time, okay? Because lectures, for example, are not given given on on uh, on live session. Like if I ask something, I don't expect that you will reply immediately. Okay, no live stream lectures are held except for language courses. So this is very important. German and English courses have to be live stream, but uh, live stream or live session. Live stream is just like one way. 
but the other uh, when you say live session or uh, live call, then that's the time it's going to be two way. All lectures are recorded and uploaded in Moodle with supporting materials. Students can stream them or download them whenever they have internet access. So this answers the complaint that there are no uh, internet connection at home, limited laptops or computers they don't have. So anytime there is a chance, you can download the videos through the Moodle and all the lectures. That's why it's Moodle because when you access Moodle, uh, if you are using only data, and that's true for your classmates, maybe right now the students that are in this session are all having broadband. So for those who are on data, if they're using Moodle, they can access this live session, all the lectures, the video lessons, and all the materials through Moodle. Moodle they don't, according to Omantan and Orido, they will not charge because Moodle is having a uh, domain that edu.om, educational institution, so it will not charge according to them. Online Q&A sessions live or by chat will be provided by instructor, instructors during some of time slots already allocated to courses in the time table. It's very uh, uh, important to notice the wordings during some of the time slots so it's, they, they, we didn't say uh, they didn't say that they we should all meet on a regular basis okay so it depends on the teacher but for me i prefer monday and wednesday because i don't have a clash on that and that's the schedule of the two se sections that i'm handling and i prefer one hour uh, at most okay i don't prefer monday section one and then when it's day section two, uh, because two hours of lab session, I think is not truth, truthful, okay? So we just meet because I want to be in touch with you. If you have some question, this is your time to ask question. And that's it. We don't uh, give lectures here. We just clarify some questions and so on. Okay, number five is important. No midterm exams are given. Other assignments will be used instead. That's already true in our Excel. I told you activity only, then project, then final exam. We'll go to the final exam topics later on. Uh, appropriate assessments that meet COVID-19 restrictions are offered in all courses. This is very important because, for example, you cannot give assess assignments that you have to go to the field and meet somebody and so on. So social distancing has to be uh, um, uh, followed, okay? Appropriate, uh, sorry, seven, as, and as, as assessment components may change, assessment components may change, the calculation of the final course grade may need to be adjusted, adjusted after discussion with the head of department. Now, eight and nine are thesis. Let's go to number 10. Students who fail assessments will be offered repeats under the usual geotech, geotech practice wherever possible. This will be done within the current semester dates. Any announcements by geotech administration and instructors need to be made by email well in advance at least 48 hours of any deadline in consideration of students with infrequent internet access. Books, this is self-explanatory. You can return it after you come back. 13, theoretical courses may be front-loaded and may be completed before the end of the semester. Final exams might be replaced with alternate assignments during the semester or may be held during the final exam period. 14, courses with a significant practical component will be offered once the university is again offered. So if you have workshops and computer laboratories that is a component of your chemistry or physics, then uh, it, it has to wait. Uh, regular grading type as defined in the course specification will be used. However, students have seven calendar days after the release of the final overall percentage grade of a course to request that the grade be converted into pass or fail. Late requests will not be considered. 
16, students who fail a course after a, a repeat assessment may have the exceptional opportunity to take a third assessment. The decision to offer this exceptional third assessment will be taken under the usual geotech practice. Uh, so it means if you have a course and then you have you be given a repeat exam because not all were give, are given repeat exams uh, in uh, during finance. Uh, it depends on your performance. Let's say during the board of examiner, you will be allowed to do a repeat exam. And then you failed again. And there again, another situation, you can file a request or, yeah, uh, a request to have another repeat exam. So this you have to discuss with your professor, your teacher, or your head of department. Okay, tentative plans as of now. Tentative, nothing is still final. Final exam period remains remains the same. The Board of Examiners week remains the same. The repeat exam period remains the same. Uh, the first day of teaching of the winter semester next uh, academic year will still be September 20. So nothing has been changed until now because there's no final decisions yet regarding uh, what will happen to the semester. But as for now, we are pushing for the online classes to continue, okay? I'm going to give you a scenario. For example, this online classes will not be successful. And finally, Minister of Higher Education said, no more semester two, no more uh, spring semester 2020. We cancel it. Do you want that scenario? For me, if I'm a student, I don't like that. Why? Because I still need to spend another semester. Okay, that means all my courses will just be uh, adjusted. Okay, instead of finishing four years, I will finish it four and a half years. That's the effect. If you push students, huh? please inform your other friends and your other classmates. This is for sure. Watch the uh, Minister of Higher Education decides because some of this, the students all over Oman, they were asking for this. Uh, let's just cancel the semester. We just uh, want to, uh, we will stay home, but we will not study. So some of the ideas are like that. Please don't go for that idea because, as I said, if we go for that idea, then you will spend four and a half in the bachelor instead of only four years. Try to remember that. Okay, so for Excel, I'm going to discuss which one is uh, uh, affected by this guidelines. Actually, we are already following it. We don't have lectures during live sessions. We just have question and answers, clarification, reminders. And as I said, I just want to meet you one hour uh, at the most or 30, 40 minutes uh, per session, okay, two times uh, so that I will have update and then you can see that we still have a class. I mean, if we don't do this live session and I just upload, 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 then it's like, no, nothing. I mean, like students will not move, okay. Uh, one of the students uh, discussed to me earlier that there are six, seven courses, and then you have a lot of assignments. Well, uh, as I said, we have to sacrifice. We have to do something, uh, some sacrifices, because if you will just complain and ask your, you know, the ministry, because some of the students will just go directly to the ministry, ask, complain, uh, complain and complain and complain. It will be difficult for you also. So just make sacrifices. I know it's difficult to do this online classes because uh, let's say you have seven courses, they will give you a lot of assignments. Well, uh, the difference is that if you are in the university, you know that the purpose is university. You have timetable, you go there to the class and then you make assignments at home. If you have chances at university, you will do your assignments there and you don't have distraction. I think the only reason that some of you cannot study well at home is that you have so many distractions. 
Okay, it's difficult, yes, because for example, me, I'm doing something, I'm, I want to prepare visual, a video lessons. Sometimes when you fell asleep and then you will just, uh, you will just um, sleep at will. Uh, just go lie down. Nothing can stop you. And then your work will be delayed. Uh, okay. So I understand that. It happens to me. But uh, we all have to make sacrifices. Actually, for me also, it's difficult. Which online classes is uh, uh, more difficult than face-to-face -face because in online classes, you have to prepare a lot. You have to make those video lessons. We ha I have to edit it. If I cough, for example, I have to cut that. You know, coughing. <coughs> or if I said something that is wrong, I have to cut it and then, you know, edit the video, upload the video, take some time. Uh, and then you have to prepare what will you do next and so on and so forth. And like when, when in the face-to-face -face classes, I know my flow already. This week, I know my topics. I'll just go there, present, uh, give the exercises, upload it. Just it, just that. Okay. So anyway, why am I uh, talking a lot of uh, <laughs> nonsense? Okay. So let's go back. No midterm exams. We are already doing that. We don't have uh, midterms. We have activities and project. As I said, project will be discussed when the topic is already there. I mean, like uh, when I reach the topic where you will use. Uh, what you will use for the project then that's what I'm going to give you that project. It's actually an exercise. It's a, a, some, just a bigger exercise than the regular exercise that I was giving. Okay. Uh, final exam is still tentative. Okay. I have to explain this to you. I prefer final exam. Okay. Once everything is already clear and then they said okay we can come back to the university i prefer to have final exam so what i want actually is just maybe one week meeting okay not one week every day no? like maybe two hours or four hours meeting to just give you a refresher and then have some final exam i'll give you math exam and so on uh and then we'll go for the final exam why is it important to have a final exam for me because if I give a final exam from the orientation I already mentioned this uh, it's easy for you to pass my course because it's only activities project and final exam activities and project is half if you just do that and submit my activities and projects uh, you'll have maybe 40, 45, around 46, 48. So it depends on you out of 50 activities and project. Then the rest will be final exam. And out of 50, if you just get uh, 10 marks, you'll pass, right? But this is the thing. If there is no final exam, then I will never separate. I can, I will have difficulty separating who is really good in this course, who will get A, who will get B, who will get C minus. Okay, so that's that's the idea why I need the final exam. Uh, but as we said, we don't have a control on this uh, thing. So if they decide to cancel the final exam, then I will follow. Uh, but also, I have also um, a control on if I will have a final exam. So I will let you know, maybe before the end of April, uh, no, 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 before the end of May, maybe uh, second week of May, we'll have an idea if we're going to have a final exam or not, okay? So because what will I do is that uh, I'll just, uh, mm, I'll just check the calendar because my idea is on the 14th week, now we are on the 8th week six more weeks before the final exam. So that's my idea, but we'll see. We'll see about that. So for now, finally, just hang on, work hard, whatever is, what are you doing right now? Just always watch the videos and prepare for the final exam. Have that mentality that there will be final exam. Now, if the 
professor or instructor said there's no final exam in his course, then better for you. Okay? But as I was saying earlier, that's just prepared. For me, I prefer uh, to have a final exam. If uh, we will not have a final exam, then that's fine also. Well, I'll, I'll adjust, I'll adjust. No, no, you can't do anything. So that's it. I mean, like the basis of your grades will be your activities and the projects. And that's it. Okay, but for now, tentatively, we have a final exam. But the final exam should be face to face. You have to be in the university. I will not give a final exam which will be online or like through the Moodle. Okay, I will not do that. Uh, maybe it's just a quiz or a um, another component, okay, or an assessment. But uh, if they suggest, okay, do the final exam online, that can never, and uh, um, I will not uh, agree with that. It's not possible, not possible, because a final exam is a final exam. It must be invigilated. Mm, has to have a proctor uh, and it has to have a, a heavy weight say, or the weightage should be big or large okay so like for me 50 percent 40 percent to 50 percent is the final exam but lesser than that for me it's just a, a major activity or major assessment okay so anyway what else uh, did i miss on this so as we said, okay, I'm also planning, by the way, to do this number 13. Theoretical courses may be front-loaded and may be completed before the end of the semester. I might, if I have a chance, if I'm not really that busy that week, for example, this week or this weekend, I'm going to do all the video lessons. I'm going to upload everything, all the exercises pertaining to the topics then I will uh, just let you do it uh, on your pace, okay? And then I'll just uh, be doing online session, uh, live sessions every week still until we finish the semester, okay? I might do this number 13. Theoretical courses may be front-loaded and may be completed before the end of the semester, okay? So just wait, let's see. But for now, uh, so far I am on pace. Uh, with weekly lectures, video lessons, then activities. Okay, activities is the exercise or assignment. Okay, so that's it for this guidelines. Let's see what else do I have to discuss. Okay, I need to give you okay. The videos for lesson number four is already uploaded, so please. Uh, and I will give you exercise seven for that. Okay, so you can see these topics that we are having right now. Let's see. Let me go to the Moodle. Okay, so these are the lesson number four topics. Okay, and let's add an activity assignment, exercise seven. So for exercise seven and onwards, I'm sorry. Okay, for exercise seven, I'm just going to give you one week to submit because exercise seven onwards, because I found out for the last two exercises that if a student were given a chance 
to do the exercise for two weeks, they will just do the exercise still the day before or even the day of the deadline or hours before the deadline or just one hour before the deadline. Okay, so there's no use for two weeks. That's what I found out. So I'll just give you one week to do these exercises. Okay, from now onwards. So you can see here, exercise seven, count if and sum if. This is related to the topics of lesson number four. So watch the video for lesson number four and you can do this exercise seven. Okay, if you have a question, you can ask that question next meeting uh, on Wednesday for exercise seven. So because of, you know already, when is our um, live sessions? So if I give you the exercises, try to check already the exercises so that when you have a question, you can uh, ask the question beforehand, not that you ask the question when there's already the submission. Okay, so I would like, yeah, I would like you to uh, practice on that. Have that practice of at least like opening the exercise, downloading it, try already to visualize how it will work or how will you will answer that. Like read all the tasks. If there already a question, a doubt for you, then you ask the question. You don't have to finish the exercise already. Just at least ask the question. Okay, so as you know that I'm available, don't worry, I'm available. But the problem is when there is already the deadline and that you are rushing on asking me question and not all the time I can answer an email uh, that you ask a question there because of course you have to understand I have also some words to do. And sometimes when you're checking emails, it will just pass. I mean whatever uh, you will just miss some questions and you cannot be perfect on that. Um, so do you still have a question right now with our agenda? I told you the li live sessions will just cover those topics and then if you have some question regarding what I said like on the guidelines of uh, the the online courses that we're doing right now or on exercise three or any topics any topic sorry do you have any question so i'm expecting how many students right now 14 students can you answer through the chat do you have any question yes or no Amar Amal Azan. Basil Enas. Hafsa. Mominada. Oh, Majid is here. Majid Al Riyami. Okay. Muruj is present. Nada Sabra. And shake at the hand. That's me. They're gone again. Okay. Let's see. There are questions to the chat. Uh, Moment said no, Salim, no, Nada, no, Basil, no, Sabra, no. Only five out of 15 students. Please reply. If you have no question, please type no.
Okay. So I think there's no question anymore. So if you have, uh, just leave a message or email me. Uh, if I have a chance, I'll reply to you. Okay. So that's it. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.